morning guys. Start of the vlog here, I guess, for South Africa. First vlog. Uh, this is Thursday morning, January 9th, the day we are waiting, have been waiting for for a long, long time. And uh, yeah, I was planning on leaving this morning to come down to PA. But I'm actually in PA at the Kravitz place right now because of all of this. Supposed to get a big winter storm last night. Got snow on top of ice and everything's just kind of a royal mess. So, yeah, really glad I came down last night. Just kind of chilling out here this morning. Maybe help them pack up, pack some of the uh, suitcases and pack some of the sleeping bags and stuff away. Yeah, it's really, really pretty out, actually. As long as you don't have to drive in it. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go from this to, like... 80 degree summer time in South Africa. So this is a good way to improve our thankfulness for the 18 hours of flight time we have between here and there, I guess. All right, folks, just checking in from Dulles Airport. We just arrived here. Everybody's here with their luggage, except for Steve. Steven had a snag with his flight. I'm not sure what's up, but he's gonna need to fly on a separate flight from us. Like he flies into here four minutes before we leave, I think it is. So he's gonna be like eight hours late. Which really isn't that big of a deal because we're spending overnight in the mug and bean shop in South Africa. Vince and Paul and Elaine are flying separate from the rest of us. They got tickets separate. Vince and Vlad are trying to check in a tuba for free on South African Airlines. And if Vlad can't get his tuba in there, uh-oh. No dice with the tuba. <laughs> okay, well, well, we'll try it on Delta then. See if Delta gives it to us for free. What happened with the tuba, Vince? Well, I tried to check it in and it didn't work. It didn't work? What, what happened? Well, there was a guy behind me and he was like, I play bass, do you play much? And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. Oh, because Vlad wasn't in line with you. No, no, Vlad wasn't. Oh, yeah. He was there texting me. <laughs> Serge here forgot his dress pants. So he's going to have to buy some in South Africa, I guess. And David forgot his bass music. That's kind of what's happening right now. We'll check in with you guys as more things happen. Thank you. Thank you. Okay guys, we just arrived in Amsterdam and it's like 6.30 in the morning? Six, six, seven in the morning. Yeah, it's actually one o'clock body time. And uh, we ate breakfast this morning over Dublin, Ireland at midnight body time. And it was actually five o'clock. So yeah, we are tired right now. And one thing that was really, really cool is the flight attendant asked, like they kind of knew we were a group. And very early on in the flight, she asked us if what we were doing, and we said we were singing. And she's like, oh, would you guys like to sing for us? So, 15 minutes before we landed, or 10 minutes before we landed, we sang for everybody on the flight. I got together. A few others had a different connecting flight, but yeah, there's 13 of us traveling together here today. So, and where, where are you going? And we're going. Place? We're going to South Africa for two weeks to sing. Oh, excellent! That was amazing. Have a safe trip. Yes, thank you. Nice Good to meet you. you. That was a pile of fun. And uh, yeah, we're here in Amsterdam. We have a three-hour layover, and then we are just got off our seven-hour flight, and we have an 11-hour flight from Amsterdam down to Johannesburg. David, how was your flight? Great. Tired. Tired. 
Understandably so. Are we almost there? Yeah, almost. Ugh. Hard landing on South African soil. Welcome to South Africa. Welcome to the airport of Johannesburg. So, Vlad, what are you excited most about right now? <laughs> Yeah, we hope we get his tuba. Alana, what are you excited for? Pretty much how we're all feeling right now, I think. Thank you, see ya. Bye. Hey guys, checking in with you at about, well it's one o'clock here in South Africa. We're in the airport. We were gonna stop at a mug and bean shop. The mug and bean shop changed names and closed at 10 o'clock. So we went to this other kind of fast food restaurant called Wimpy. So we're all, or most of the people are sleeping in Wimpy. Matt and I here are gonna go to see if we can find the chapel. Because supposedly there's a chapel here and see if we can get some soft seats to sleep on instead of crashing at a table at the end of B. I don't have no idea where the end of B is. Okay, this is several minutes later and Matt and I are the same place we were last time we videoed just 10 minutes later after walking around half of the airport. How do we get up there now? From over there. We want that place right there. We're after the prayer facilities. We just walked right by it, that's all. Matt, you ready for some sleep? Yes. Yeah, we're all ready for some sleep. Because now it's not 1 o'clock anymore, it's one seventeen. So I guess we spent 15 minutes trying to find this place. Okay, so it's like quarter of three. We slept for an hour, hour and a half. Yeah, there was this random like police officer security guard that was sleeping in there too. It's kind of weird. Talked to him, he said he was a Christian and everything. That was cool. Just a little weird sleeping in a chapel with a police officer security guard that's probably supposed to be on duty right now. Anyhow, my body clock's all messed up, I can't sleep. So, we're gonna go back to Wimpy. Meet up with everybody else and maybe crash there or do something, I don't know. So we're here at Wimpy's and nobody else can sleep either. And it's like 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. And we're all just kinda hanging out, playing blockus or talking or doing whatnot. And yeah, we've got all this luggage 18 people pack a lot of luggage. So a quick update on Steven. Steven is flying right now, I believe. He was supposed to be here before us or eight hours after us. 
And now he's getting in at like 5.30 p.m. today. So like we're not even gonna be here anymore. So I guess they're gonna send somebody up to pick him up and take him down to the conference center where we're gonna be at an hour or two away. Um, yeah, kind of a weird mess, but that's the way it is.